I think you are ready to fight at the moment it's needed. Yeah, I'm, I don't have a problem fighting. Yeah. I'm, I'm comfortable with violence. Yeah. I'm comfortable with violence. But at the same time, I don't want beef with Let's you. On that, but... No, no, but I don't want beef with you. Like, I don't see a reason for us to be enemies. Break it down like this. Are we ready? Y'all ready for this? Tell me when you ready. I'm ready. The kind of Jew I'm, I'm having the access to around where I'm living, it's kind of, um, yeah, scary, scared, but they also feel privileged over me. They act like they are the first class citizen and uh, you're not just there, down. And, uh, okay. So, which is annoying because... Uh, <laughs> and, it's, and it's not the way we're supposed to behave in this land. That's not, that's not who we're supposed to be. That's, that's not our identity. That's what justify the, um, like, by Palestinian fighting. Okay. Maybe I'm special. I'm not afraid of violence. I just don't think violence between us is necessary. No, I think at this point is not. No, no, no. I, I mean, look, the situation isn't resolved. But I, at the same time, I think that, I, I think there's no reason, honestly, and I, I'm not, I don't mean this in a kumbaya, like, Kind of way. I'm, I'm saying, really, like, it doesn't make sense to me that the British were so successful at turning us into enemies. Yes. And I think it's already over 100 years. But I think you are ready to fight at the moment it's needed. Yeah, I'm, I don't have a problem fighting. Yeah. I'm, I'm comfortable with violence. Yeah. I'm comfortable with violence. Me too. But at the same time, I don't want beef with Let's you. agree on that. Then. No, no, but I don't want beef with you. Like, I don't see a reason for us to be enemies. I, I do. Yeah? Okay. Honestly, no, like we're talking honestly. No, not I mean, with you personally, right. no. I'm talking about with the way the system formed, with the army, with the board, 18 mm. years old uh, boys, soldiers, when they board the thing where I'm living with tear gas, yeah, yeah, when you're yeah, walking yeah. with your baby in the street. That's all a leap for frustration. Yeah. That I hear you, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell I you think something. I just yeah, we should wrap this up. I, I'm going to say, listen. Your, your oppression is much more visible than ours, but you're victims of ours. The things you're oppressed by is an expression of our, uh, of deep trauma, d deep, like, like, I don't want to get into a whole, you know, discussion of how anti-Semitism operates, but there is a system of anti-Semitism that affects us even in the state of Israel today. There's a lot of trauma, especially Ashkenazim who lived in Europe for many centuries, came back here with. Um, there is a lot of uh, discomfort with power, there's, and there's a lot of um, us feeling that in order for us to survive, we have to be valuable to the Americans and behave a certain way. So I'm telling you, our, our oppression is less visible than yours. It's very easy to see your oppression, but you're also victims of our oppression, and the only way to end your oppression is to end ours as well. Meaning that our liberation is very much intertwined right Natural now. Natural liberation, though. No? But but no, but it, but it, it it's it, meaning I'm not just like saying words. It's not just like oh that sounds really nice. I'm saying something very real. I'm saying that if you want real liberation, we need to be liberated because we're sitting on top of you. I hundred percent agree with. All right, cool. My liberation gonna liberate you. Yeah. I feel responsibility they're, they're, to, to liberate you right. from your fear and trauma right. by my liber liberation, that's for sure. Right, we need, to be li we need to be liberated from the role of oppressor, but we're not going to give up our power. That's the paradox. A good talk. An honest talk. I excel, then prevail. I excel. I excel, then prevail. I excel, then prevail.